hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be talking about this wig from royal me wigs now i wanted a really versatile wig where i can just pop it in my bag and go a travel wig just like you have your toiletries at home you have your travel size toiletries which are just more convenient and easy for you to travel with that's exactly what i wanted in a wig and this is what i got so i literally just took it out of the box and chucked it in my suitcase and I'm gonna show you how this wig held up, how easy it was to style. It's flowy, it's bouncy, and it looks really realistic. And the best thing about it is that you don't need to glue it down. You don't need to put any tape or any glue, any spray, none of that. But I do so for convenience. You can do it if you want to, but it is absolutely not necessary because the wig has a fake scalp. So my hair is cornrowed all back, as you can see. I'm not going to wear any wig cap or anything like that because I don't need to. I already cut the lace off of the wig. I didn't show you guys that because it's pretty straightforward and you see me do it a million times. So I didn't think you needed to see that. So let me just show you guys but how this wig was constructed. It's really quite clever. Really well. They bleached and dyed the knots, put some fabric under the lace. And then on top of that, they put a mesh overlay of lace. So the fake scalp is protected and it will last a really long time. I think a lot of brands are starting to do this trend now. Um, I get why, because it's super easy and it makes it look so much better. So I think we'll be seeing it a lot. The rest of the cap construction is pretty standard. It has one, two, three, four of these combs. I don't use the combs to secure it because I just don't feel like I need to. Okay, so let me get this wig on. I don't need to worry about much. I can literally pop it on and go, but I'm gonna do a little bit of prep work. I personally do like to put just a little touch, a tiny little touch, I've got to be glued free spray right on the edge of my head where the lace is going to be visible. It just adds a little extra touch of security and makes it look more realistic when I'm going to do those baby hairs. And because of this fake scalp, you can wear this wig to the side, like here, or you can part it in the middle. You can pretty much part it whichever way you want because it is a ear to ear lace closure. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to wear it today and I want it to look as realistic as possible. I want it to look like it's my hair. It's pretty much the same length as my natural hair if I were to straighten it. So I just want it to look like my natural hair being straightened. You can do different styles of this hair. I actually just washed the wig, so I'm gonna straighten it to get some of the curls out because it does naturally kind of curl up when it gets wet as natural hair would do. And it doesn't take long at all, about five minutes to straighten the hair. And this hair holds heat really well. It's not gonna burn. I think I've got my flat iron here on 360 degrees. You can part this hair any which way you like, but I'm choosing to wear it in the middle part today. The only thing that I would say about this wig is that it's a little bit too small for me personally. I wish I got a bigger cap size because you can see the edges of my hair on the sides because the wig doesn't cover it. The next wig that I get from this brand, I will definitely get a bigger cap size. The only way to combat that for now is literally just let the hair fall on my face. It doesn't really bother me that much because of the way that I'm wearing the hair. It's going to cover it anyway, um, but the next time I'm going to get a bigger cap size. Or what I can do right now is to literally spray it down. But I don't want to do all that extra work because the whole point of the wig is to just be a simple throw on and go wig. So it's fine the way it is for now. So right now I'm just working on those baby hairs. It was really easy to do. I just cut a little bit of hair in the front and I'm gonna use some mousse to set them down. Then I use a little bit of mousse on the part to make sure that it's straight, brush it out, and then I'm going to use mousse all over my head. Yes, we're moussing today, mousse central, okay? All over my head to get that wet look that I want. Of course, I could just stop here. I mean, the hair does look good, just straightened in a little bob, but I want that wet look. And that's how I'm gonna wear it for today.
I've been wearing this hair for almost a month now, pretty much three weeks. I wore it to Carnival, I wore it to Jamaica Carnival, I wore it to all the Jamaican parties, it got wet, a foam party, um, I wore it in the Bahamas, and it is still holding up amazingly well. So, this is one of my favorite go-to wigs. And I don't think I'm going to go back to having to do all the wig caps and all that kind of stuff. I just think this is so much easier. It is literally a travel wig. <laughs> it's travel size. It fits in my suitcase really easily. It takes up no space. I think all my wigs from now on will be these kind of wigs because it's just so much easier. Literally done in about five minutes. It can't get any simpler than that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in my next one.